Scorpio, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading from Monday, April 19th. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. At the heart of your reading, we have the Ten of Wands, an ending. Completion of an obligation, something that's been difficult. But you're at the finish line. What's the challenge here for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles reversed. Going back home. Hmm. Or allowing someone else to come back home. Your focus is on the Two of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting strong love on both sides here. Show me the recent past. What led up to this for Scorpio? Page of Wands, following a new interest. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is, but it has to do with whatever you started and now you're ending it. We have the Knight of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, so it may have progressed pretty quickly. Like you got intrigued and interested and curious about something, and so you wanted to take action, you figured it out, you went toward it, and now you're done with it. It's something that led you away, away in some way, shape, or form. And the, the challenge is now returning, coming back, coming back to what feels like home, which I suspect is this person, but I don't get an energy of separation or taking a break from the relationship. I don't think that there was like a breakup. So this may have had something to do with just a, an interest that led you away from the relationship that had to do with um, pursuing something else that was important to you. Um, something regarding your career or just a, a non-romantic related interest of yours. The energy of the environment is the Queen of Swords. Especially now, through this phase of your life, Spirit is blessing you with clear sight. The ability to look at a situation and understand the deeper truth, even when other people around you don't see it. You may also be blessed with the ability to convey that truth in a way that you can get through to people better than you have in the past. Show me the near future. Nine of Swords reversed. Ooh. Well, okay, I'm getting addressing guilt here. Um, they're not giving me anything specific, but it's like, um, I think it's having a chance to make amends for something that you feel guilty for. If that's not your story, other possibilities for the Nine of Swords Reverse talks about imp improving your sleep habits. If you've been having difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep, you might address that and get over that in the near future. Um, it also talks about resolving fears, doubts, or insecurities. So if it's not specifically guilt for some of you, then we may be addressing something else and fe just fe generally feeling... Um, 
more peaceful when you felt really stressed out. Your surprise energy, we have the moon. This has got to be having to do with timing. Because with the Queen of Swords in your environment, there's nothing that can be hidden from you. No one can conceal the truth. The moon can talk about things being um, repressed or concealed beneath the surface. So it's possible that we're talking about timing. A lot of times spirit will give me the moon as a timing indicator um, for like the next full moon or the next new moon. So this would be saying that some surprise is going to come your way, something that you've been manifesting, magician at the bottom of the deck, at the next full moon, a day or two before or after. Um, if memory serves, it's coming up on the 27th. But that's something you can easily Google for, just full moon April 2021. If I remember, I'll put it in the notes, the description box. Give me more on the moon, what's gonna happen? Something that you've already been working toward, Knight of Pentacles. Um, this could indicate that someone is going to reveal to you that they are committed, that they are um, behaving in a disciplined manner that they're in it for the long haul, that they want to work towards something long-term with you. It might not involve anyone else, though. This might just be giving us another little breadcrumb of what's going to be revealed around the full moon. It could be just something that you have been working toward, something about what the Knight of Pentacles is building, the, the, a project you've been working on, something that you've been chipping away at and, and diligently focusing and working little by little, trying to, trying to accumulate or trying to build something. Your hopes and fears, we have death energy. I want to say this is connected to what you're going to be um, resolving. Because the we have two cards already on the board that talk about fears. The Nine of Swords talks about fear, but it's re the re reversal means that you'll overcome any fears associated with whatever that means for you in this context. The moon can mean something having to do with fear. The reason why is because it's human nature is to fear the unknown. So part of that is tied into a fear of things ending, of things slipping away from you unless we're just getting at Scorpio energy. Afraid of yourself? Or hopeful that you'll be able to thrive and like live up to your full Scorpio potential? Yeah, I like that one. In all the readings I've done, I don't believe that I've had the death card as a hopeful energy for Scorpio before, <laughs> but I, I'm i realizing how that could definitely be um, a real positive energy for you guys. Let's see the end result. King of Wands. Feeling powerful, feeling like what you're doing matters, 
what you're doing is having an effect and you can see it. Like you have sway over the people that matter to you. Like they look up to you, they admire you. They know that you can get things done. And it's an interesting progression between that Page of Wands and when the Page of Wands came out, remember the Knight of Wands was at the bottom of the deck. It's like Page, Knight, King. It's a, a steady progression toward claiming your power. Show me advice for Scorpio. Page of Pentacles reversed. This can say, recognize when you've learned everything you needed to learn from a situation, then it's time to move on. Like if there's nothing left for you to learn here, then the time for the ending has arrived. I'm also getting curiosity killed the cat. So watch out for that possibility as well. Like, um, if you're super curious about something and you want to grab onto it so that you can figure it out and learn more about it, um, rely on your clear sight. Trust your intuition, trust your inner knowingness that if you, if you get curious about something that's potentially bad for you, it could have adverse effects. If you actually like grab, grab onto it in some way or, or start um, applying yourself to, uh, how to say this better? I don't know, they're giving me kind of a silly example of like someone who has never smoked cigarettes before, getting really curious about what smoking is like, and then like just buying a, buying a pack and then like smoking it and feeling like, all right, I'm, I'm, I've been super curious about this and I'm gonna just dive in and start experiencing it. Um, it it's obviously not exactly that for everyone. And I know that's kind of a, a silly example, it's kind of trite. But um, that's sort of what I'm picking up on, that there's a, a bit of a caution to uh, not feel the need to have to explore every curiosity. Scorpio, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.